Welcome to this video. Today I'd like to talk about how to tie a double figure eight knot. This knot is good for uh, rock climbing and a lot of other times when you want to anchor to a tree or to a boulder. It's uh, good to use in place of something like a bowline if you don't want to use a bowline. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to grab one edge of the rope and I'm going to take it an arm's length out. And this is about a lot an arm's length for me. And I'm going to do what's called a bite. And that's just when I squeeze the two ends of the rope like that. I'm going to take my loose end. And I'm going to wrap it around. And then I'm going to feed it through this loop and pull the knot tight. And I'm going to end up with a figure eight knot just like that. Okay, now that I have a figure eight knot, I'm going to decide that this is the side that's going to go to whatever I want to tie it to. This could be, if you're a rock climber, this would be like your harness side. And this will be whatever I want to anchor to, like a rock, a boulder, a tree, whatever I want to hold in place. And um, just to illustrate and make sure that it's clear, I've got a small carabiner right here. I'll just clip it like it's on a harness or something. And if you are rock climbing, this is the part where you make sure you get it through both parts of the harness, the bottom and the top. And I'm going to put this end of the rope right here. And I'm going to pretend like this is a little caterpillar that's going to crawl along the knot. It doesn't matter if I come this way or if I come this way. I just have to make sure that I'm consistent and I don't have any weird times where I cross the rope over on itself. And I'm going to follow the line of the knot that I've already made. Just like that. And I don't have any weird crossovers or anything. So now when I pull the knot tight, I'm going to take this outside part and pull it up, and this outside part and pull that out. And I'm going to pull it tight, and I'm going to grab any two strands of rope, pull, any two strands of rope, and pull. And there's our tight double figure eight knot. To check to see if it's right, I make sure that everything is parallel, there's nothing crossing over. And then I should have five strands of, or five sets of two from one side to the other. One, two, three, four, five. I should turn the knot over and it should look the same. One, two, three, four, five. That's how I can verify a correctly tied double figure eight knot. A lot of times people want to for safety reasons, anchor um, or at least take care of this side of the rope that has the loose end. In order to do that, um, we can do a double fisherman's knot where I loop it once and then I come over and I loop it again. And as I come over the next time, I feed it right up through this X shape and I pull it tight. And so to confirm that this is a good knot, I've got an X shape on the front and a parallel on the back. That's a good check to see if that is correct. Uh, and that is a good way to have a double figure eight with a securing knot and make sure that you get professional help if you're actually going rock climbing as a YouTube video is not enough. Um, hope this was helpful. If it is, please subscribe because that's the best way to help me back. And I will see you next time.